Whenever you're dieting, starting a contest prep for a bodybuilding competition, and you have a coach or you don't have a coach, whatever, you want to keep tabs on certain small things. A lot of people overlook certain small things. They think it's no big deal. They wing it. They focus on the bigger picture. And the bigger picture to them is eating, let's say it's seven meals a day, you conquer that. Take your drugs, if you're taking you know, enhancement. Uh, do your cardio. Very simplistic, get those done, you're good. They overlook a lot of small, minute things that in their mind might not mean much. For me, since I help people, I've always done it myself and I'm super detailed, you can't overlook certain things. And one of the things that I see overlooked is hydration or water consumption, which can coincide with sodium as well, but I'll focus more on water. Uh, so, and I've, I've messed up where I wasn't, and I shouldn't have to, but I wasn't checking up on athletes I was helping where you know, making sure, hey, are you getting your two gallons of water a day consistently? Hey, are you using the same seasoning, sea salt or garlic salt or soy sauce or teriyaki, whatever, every every day on the same foods? Sometimes I forget that and I just think it's automatic because that's the way my brain is. And then I get to 10 days out and I make a final week plan and I have X amount of water on these days. And they uh, they email me three days later and they're like, oh my God, I'm like three pounds heavier, four pounds heavier. This is a lot of water. And I respond, no, it's maybe a little bit more than you should have been drinking prior. We should have been drinking X amount this whole time. This is only a quarter of a gallon more. Oh no, I was, I've only been drinking maybe a half gallon, sometimes a gallon, not really measuring it. Then I'm stressed and now I'm thinking, okay, they, didn't, they don't have their body um, regulated to where this is the norm. Now this is abnormal. Now it's causing a reaction negatively where water at that lean should just flow right through you. But now, since you're not used to it, you weren't crunching numbers, your sodium wasn't really, not that sodium should be crunched, but your sodium wasn't consistent. You're gonna defense mechanism mode initially. You're gonna hold water like they reported to me. That's not good, you know, especially if you don't have enough time. It, it, and if that's the case, then you just gotta kind of roll with the lower water intake. If not, you know, usually three to four days, homeostasis will now be the, no, the norm, will be the new high that I recommended. But the thing is, guys, you got to track water and get on point with that early on. Not even with a coach, like I said, just for your own uh, knowledge, just to just to diet yourself or whatever. Have that part consistent. Uh, far as and also far as like what you do with your water with Crystal Light or whatever. I'm not big on sweetening water. I always call that extra credit. If you want to have like a few like a a quarter of a gallon extra over the recommended gallon and a half or whatever, sweeten it. But have that pure gallon and a half, just pure. No extra sweetener, no sucralose, no nothing to trick your brain and spike artificial insulin signal or whatever. Uh, so definitely, definitely track your water intake and don't overlook it. Sodium, try to really keep very similar intake. Uh, I don't expect people to crunch numbers, but just use certain things over and over again to make things uh, for the last week to detail everything perfectly. Because really, if you have sodium, pretty consistent and water intake consistent and you get the body fat shaved down to a low enough competitive shredded in shape um, condition you don't have to do much you should already be looking very ready for the show around a week to two weeks out where just a little manipulation in those two departments of sodium and water uh, obviously carbs come into play but in the hierarchy of importance in my opinion uh, it's more so water sodium carbs are more third tier I don't think they're that big of an importance especially with enhanced athletes that are naturally fuller with growth hormone insulin androgens etc making their muscles already more cellularly swollen you could say um, so yeah you really need to get sodium and especially water on point guys just from the get-go don't don't slack on that part because I tell you what it's very very important uh, especially for dialing in the last week, let alone for yourself, and especially for uh, someone you're paying as a coach to dial you in. So don't overlook that.